Hey girls, it's Thursday, and as you can see, I'm sporting my The Hectic Glow t-shirt in honor of the Fault in Our Stars. Um, just like Blair, I went out hankler fishing and yeti hunting on Tuesday with Abby and Dylan. So I've got some pictures from that and a little bit of video. Um, but yeah, we, we started out, we went to Beaverdale Books, which was the only sort of independent bookstore that we could find. Um, and they didn't even have any copies, so that was kind of disappointing. And then we went to basically every Target and Walmart in town. We we actually ended up finding our only sort of find of the day at the Target by my house. Um, there were three copies and we each grabbed one and opened it up and inside of Dylan's was um, the regular signature and then there was just a link. So we checked it out on his iPod, iPhone, whatever. And here's the video from that. Mm. Dylan's link. You taping this now? Yes, I am. Do it. My name is John Green. I'm the author of the book The Fall in Our Stars. And if you're watching this video, that means that I signed your book, which is good, but I didn't give it my best signature, which is bad. I'm sorry. So I set up this link as a secret way of like apologizing to those of you who got lesser signatures. Not necessarily lesser, just you know, a signature where I didn't get what I thought is my proper J scribble. I'm sorry your signature wasn't perfect, but it's evidence that I didn't like, you know, use a scanner or an auto pen or something. So hopefully there's at least that. Thanks for being awesome and I hope you enjoy the fault in our stars. Like Add it again. Intensity. So, the best thing we could find was a fail signature, but it was still pretty awesome and we were really excited. Um, the other thing that happened, we had only seen green signatures all over the city and we got to the Walmart out by Jordan Creek and there were all blue ones. So anyway, after that, having exhausted every in Target and Walmart that we could find, we went to Barnes and Noble. And we didn't find anything. I mean, sure they had the copies and, and we, <laughs> we, went, we went in and we would like find the display and we went ripping through all these signed copies and then put them back disappointed or whatever. And we thought it was probably really amusing for the people who like were working at the store to look at us go through all these signed copies, like signed copies, right? And be disappointed. Um, but anyway, yeah, the only, only Dylan ended up buying one because I did pre-order one and I promised myself that if I didn't find a Hankler fish or Yeti or one of the other special books that I wouldn't buy another one because that's silly. So now I'm waiting until my book ships which is really frustrating. I've been trying to distract myself instead, and so I got this knitting book at Half Price Books, and I've taken out knitting. So that's kind of exciting and maybe a sign of how bored I am. Apparently my copy isn't supposed to sh get to me until Saturday, so yeah, I'm trying to avoid spoilers like the plague. But anyway, um, I hope you girls are having a really awesome week. I don't know, does anybody have a copy of The Fault in Our Stars left? yet? Has anybody read it yet? I hope somebody has. That would be kind of a fail. Anyway, Marie, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have some sometimes ladies on the weekends, and I guess that's it.